one of the things that I will always do is say, listen for those things and find somebody's voice that you, you know, like and who you relate to. If you relate to the voice in some way, use it as a model and copy it, you know, Mm. and think about how that person would say it because that's all an impression is anyway. Yeah. Yeah. This is fascinating to me because I love doing impressions. It's just fun. I also do stand up and I like to do some yes. impressions in stand up too. But it's just so much fun trying to copy someone in the way that they speak, learning the little ticks that they have. Like I've been trying to, you know, I've been learning how to do Paul, Paul McCartney. Yes. You know? And a lot of things that he does, a uh, little head wobble. You know, it'll sort of a lot of pointing with the finger when he's speaking, you know, and it's just so fun to examine. And, the, you know, I think the reason why I love doing Paul is because um, he's a hero of mine as well. Yes. I just love watching him in interviews. But that's very interesting that I hope that people listening to this learning English can try and do the same thing and inject some fun into it. That ultimately it's about playing around and trying to kind of sort of become another person just for a moment, you know. <laughs> 